Conservation of Matter Balancing Equations Sometimes, when compounds mix together, new substances are created. These substances are different from the original compounds. How does this happen? And what is really taking place? Let's take a closer look and see what is really going on. First, let's look at our chlorine gas. As we zoom in, we can see the gas bubbles are made up of lots of chlorine atoms joined together. Now let's look at our sodium. As we zoom in, we can see the cylinder of sodium is made up of lots of sodium atoms joined together. Finally, let's look at the new substance that was created. As we zoom in, we can see the crystals of the new substance are made up of repeating patterns of sodium and chlorine atoms joined together. So at the microscopic level, we have two chlorine atoms joining with two sodium atoms to create a new compound that has one sodium and one chlorine atom joined together. This molecule is called sodium chloride. As I look at this model, I notice that something is not quite right. There are two atoms on the left, but only one chlorine atom on the right. This is true for sodium. There are two sodium atoms on the left, but only one sodium atom on the right. What happened to the other sodium and chlorine? In this model, the equation is not balanced. Conservation of matter states that matter cannot be created or destroyed. Matter is created by atoms. The atoms simply rearrange themselves to create new substances. This model is a representation of the reaction between chlorine and sodium, but it is not complete. We first need to balance it. A balanced equation has the same number of each type of atom on both sides of the arrow. To balance it, we can change the number of different molecules until we find a combination that will give us the same number of each type of atom on both sides. We might need more of each of the compounds or only more of one of the compounds. Can you figure out what this one would need? There are two chlorines on the left and one chlorine on the right. Two sodium on the left and two sodium on the right. It turns out that we need to add one more molecule of sodium chloride. Now we have two chlorines on the left and two on the right. Two sodiums on the left and two on the right. This is the visual model of the equation. Let's see what it looks like in the written version. Remember, this is what we started with at the beginning. We had one of each molecule and the equation was not balanced. The two that follows the chlorine symbol and the sodium symbol represent the number of atoms that, for that element in the compound. We call this the subscript. To balance the equation, we added another molecule of sodium chloride. We place a 2 in front of the sodium chloride compound to indicate that there are two molecules of sodium chloride. The 2 is called the coefficient. Only coefficient numbers can be changed when balancing equations. Let's try one more. Hydrogen gas and oxygen gas create liquid water. This is the written version of this reaction. Now let's see what it looks like visually. Is this equation balanced? Although hydrogen is equal on both sides, oxygen is not. To balance this, we can just add another oxygen on the right side, right? 
adding another oxygen would change the compound from water to hydrogen peroxide. These are two different compounds with different properties, so we can't just add another oxygen. In order to balance this equation, we need to add more of the molecules we already have. Let's add another water and see what happens. Oxygen is now equal on each side. However, now the hydrogen is unequal. What do you need to do in order to make the hydrogen equal? Is this equation balanced? Now both the hydrogen and oxygen are equal, and this equation is balanced. As a reminder, conservation of matter states that matter cannot be created or destroyed. Matter is created by atoms, and the atoms just simply rearrange themselves to create new substances. We see this in balanced equations, and for an equation to be balanced, it has to have the same number of each type of atom on both sides of the arrow. Thank you for watching.